I'm going to show you how to set up the iPhone 14 and the 14 Plus step by step. So first thing is turn the phone on. Next thing when you're here, just go ahead and swipe up. From here, we're going to choose our language. I'm going to go with English here. So tap on English. And my country or region, I'm going to go with the United States right here. Now here's the quick start here. It says bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. So if you have another iPhone or iPad, you can bring it closer here and you can set up a little bit faster. Okay. And if your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show up, like you can see this one here shows up right here. Set up new iPhone. And if, it, if that doesn't show up, make sure that's running at least iOS 11 or later. It has Bluetooth turned on, okay? Now for myself, I'm not going to do that the fast way. I'm going to do it manually, okay? So I'm going to tap set up manually. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network so I can get that latest update. Put my password into my Wi-Fi. If you put in your password, tap on join down here. Now it says it will take a few minutes to activate your phone, so be patient. Data and privacy, if you want to learn more, tap on learn, learn more or tap on to continue. Face ID password, we can go ahead and set this up later or we can do it now. Let's just go ahead and do this now, okay? So let's tap on continue here. I'm going to tap on start and I'm going to put my face right in that little square right there. And then when this put turn around, I'm just going to go ahead and turn my head like that. All right, is complete. Now from here, you have two choices, okay? You can use Face ID with the mask, but you don't need to wear a mask during setup or don't use Face ID with the mask, okay? So either or. For me, I'm fine with don't use Face ID with the mask. So I'm just going to tap down here and tap on continue. So Face ID password is set up. Now we need to go ahead and create a passcode, five-digit or uh, six-digit passcode here. And once you put in the first time, you will have to reconfirm one more time and confirming right here. Apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this phone. You have several options here. You can restore from your iCloud backup. You can restore from a Mac or a Windows PC or computer. Directly, you can transfer directly from your other iPhone, you can move data from an Android tablet or phone, or you can don't transfer apps and data. Now for me, for this phone here, I'm going to do no transfer apps and data for a clean, fresh install on here. Now it's asking for your Apple ID, so put in your Apple ID email. If you don't have one, you can click here. Now for me, I'm just going to go ahead and set this one up later, so I'm just going to tap down here where it says forgot password or don't have Apple ID, because I don't remember my password anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on set up later in settings for myself. Don't use for now. Terms and conditions. Go ahead and read through all this. You must agree to proceed. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on agree. Keep your phone up to date. Tap on continue here. iMessage and FaceTime. People can contact you on all your devices, all your devices, your other iPhones, iPads, with iMessage and FaceTime using your phone number or email address. The phone number on this iPhone will be sent to Apple to set up iMessage and FaceTime. So that's up to you. If you want to proceed with that, tap on continue. For me, I don't need it. I'm just going to tap on, or I don't want it, so I'm going to click on uh, not now. And I can always activate that later if I wish. Location services, this is optional. You can enable it or you can disable it. Okay, for me, I'm fine with enabling it. Now we're at Setup Cellular, okay? Note that the iPhone 14 doesn't have a physical SIM tray in here, so we have to use an eSIM. So we can either transfer from a nearby phone, right here, or you can use your QR code if you have a QR code from your carrier, okay? It says you can transfer a phone number from a nearby phone or scan a QR code provided by your carrier, okay? So anyway, I have my phone right here, so I'm going to tap on Transfer, uh, from nearby phones. I'm going to tap on that right there. Now take note, okay, so I'm going to transfer from another iPhone, okay? This is a older iPhone, iPhone 11 Pro, and it says to transfer phone number from another iPhone, make sure your other iPhone is passcode protected but unlocked. 
nearby with Bluetooth turned on and running iOS 16 or later, okay? So I just I just um, updated to iOS 16 um, on this phone here, on this older phone, a little while ago. And you can see this message right here. It says transfer phone number. Transfer a phone number from this iPhone to your other iPhone. Unlock to continue, okay? So let me go ahead and unlock this. Okay, so it's transfer phone number, transfer phone number from this iPhone to the other. I'm going to tap on continue right here. Verification code. So I got it right here. So 495. This is my verification code. 33. Three. Also take note that this is the iPhone 11 Pro and I actually have a physical SIM in here, okay? And once I set this up, I can always go back to this phone. I can do the eSIM back to here, even though there's a physical SIM card in here or on this side, actually. Also note the uh, with the eSIM, you can always set that up once you're done with the setup and everything. You can go back into settings and set this up. Okay. Anyway, you can go ahead and read through this. And down here it says once your eSIM is set up, your SIM card will be deactivated and can be removed from the SIM tray. Okay. So once I go ahead and activate this, my physical SIM card is not going to be active on this phone anymore. Okay. So I'm going to tap on transfer from another phone right there. Transfer. And now it says follow the instructions on your other iPhone to transfer uh, your phone number. I'm going to click on OK here. It says confirm transfer right here. And for me to confirm, I have to double click this power button. So I'm going to double click right there. OK. And now you can see up here it says SOS. So to give this one second here. OK. Transfer started. I'm going to click on done right here. And now it says activating down here. It still says SOS. Let's wait until we see some reception bars here. Okay, cellular setup is complete and I can see my reception bar up here. So let me tap on continue right there. And on my other phone here, I no longer have reception bar up here. So that physical SIM is not active no more. Siri, you can set this up now or you can do it later in settings if you wish. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do, I'll just set up later. Screen time, you can set this up now, you can do it later. I'm going to go ahead and set it up later. Actually, I'm not even going to set it up. Uh, iPhone analytics. This is optional. You can share with Apple, don't share, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and share with Apple. And this is also optional too. You can share with app developers or don't share, okay? I'm fine with sharing with them. Appearance, you want light or you want dark, okay? Most of you guys are probably going to go with dark. I like dark as well. I'm going to tap on continue. Display zoom, you want it standard or you want it zoomed a little bit bigger. I'm going to go with zoomed here. I'm going to tap on continue. Emergency SOS, go ahead and read through this and then tap on continue. Welcome to your iPhone, swipe up to get started. We are in business. Pretty simple. Questions or issues, comment below.